when you say purchase a star, you need to commute to the center. Commute to the center. Commute, purchase a star, 50,000 dollars, 50,000 riyal. So this is represented by monetary unit for the price of it. Last step, we say output. Our output in financial account Methods. You can receive financial accounting by financial accounting information. You can receive by financial statement or by financial report. Financial statements such as balance sheet, income statement, cash flow statement, owner statement. After that, we we discuss about the framework for financial accounting. What is the need? What Financial accounting, what is the uh, what is the objective of financial accounting? Uh, what is the characteristics of financial accounting? What is the elements of financial accounting? And last, we go to the last level for financial framework for financial accounting. Last level, it include three steps, principles, assumptions, and constraints. This is was the last class. So now we will go start for chapter two, part one. Chapter two. Chapter 2, part 1, we need to go to preparing for financial or accounting equation. Accounting equation means you will go to work in three items. You need to go work with assets, liabilities, and equity. So, financial accounting, uh, financial equation, uh, accounting equation, assets will be equal liability plus equity. We can write by another way. We can say assets will be equal liability plus what? Equity. Not equity, we can say capital, investment. Okay? So, we can say capital plus revenue minus expenses minus dividends or you can say with the draw salam so minus with draw so assets Equal liabilities plus equity. Equity you can write capital, revenue, expense, withdrawal. So assets you can write assets minus liability equal what? Equity. Also, assets minus equity will be equal what? Liability. Okay. This is the equation, or we can say balance equation or account equation. Also, we can say assets plus expense plus withdraw normal balance. Normal balance will be. So, when you need to increase assets, expense, withdraw, means increase, so you must put it as debt. Decrease, decrease assets, 
liabilities equal. So decrease assets, liabilities equal means you need to put it as credit. So normal balance for assets, it is debit. Increase assets means you will put it in the debit. Decrease assets means you need to put it as credit. For liabilities, equity, revenue, normal balance, credit. So when you need to increase, means you will put it as credit. Decrease, you need to put it as debit. So decrease, put it as a debit. So this is the normal balance for each items. So. For final exam, uh, midterm exam, you will have one first question. Will first question will be to classify items. So you will have some items, some items such as account payable, account receivable, notes payable, notes receivable, cash. inventory so the first column he will each item it is assets liabilities or equity second column he will ask you about the normal balance the normal balance debit debit credit credit like this third column he will ask you when you go to increase it what's the balance last when you go to decrease, what is the balance? So this is, you will give, this is the first question in midterm, classified. And also, part two in midterm, he will ask you also about the in account equation, liability plus equity. He will ask you, write the equation, basic equation, and he will ask you, give me, Examples for each items. Give me, for example, two examples for each item. Assets such as cash, such as account, receivables, inventory. So give him uh, examples and he will ask you what's the means assets, what's the means liabilities, what's the means equity. Clear? So this is the first question in midterm so now we need to go to what's the means What's the means? Assets. What's the means? Assets. What's the means? Liability. What's the means? Equity. Assets means what? You can. Divided assets for how many bar? Two bar. Which? So, assets, it's odd for business. And assets, you can divide assets to three major items. Okay? Assets, we can divide it to three majors. Current assets. And fixed assets what intangible assets current assets means will be short short such as cash we can divide it cash to three parts cash in company cash on hand means cash on 
bank means you have account for your business in bank also pp cash so cash it is the current assets inventory it current assets account receivable so current assets for example current assets cash account receivables notes receivables inventory short investment also you can say uh, prepaid expense it is examples about the current assets no different not only a work of data the bond here liabilities مو شرط مو شرط مو شرط بين الأفراد الصوت اللي بيصير بعد ايش؟ طيب آه. الفكس اسيتس اكزامبل على الفكس اسيتس Yes. Okay. Fixed assets means useful life will be greater than or more than one one year. So, building, comment, land, cars. This is the furniture. This is the examples for fixed assets. We know for Fix as we need to prepare what depreciation expense expected what land. So we need to for each item in exp in fixed assets we need to prepare depreciation expected land. Okay. So for cars for uh, uh, equipment building. End of the financial year, you need to prepare adjustment entry. Adjustment entry will be for fixed assets expected land. So fixed assets means useful life will be greater than or more than one year or more than financial operation. Okay? So last items in assets, intangible assets. Intangible assets such as? Goodwill, the trademark. So, the intangible assets, goodwill, or the trademark. Liabilities, we can also for liabilities, divided liabilities, two bar. Current liabilities, or we can say short, short term liability and long term liability. So, difference between short term and long term will be the maturity date. So, the maturity date, when the maturity date will be within financial year or within operating cycle, means this is will be in short term. More than one year, more than uh, financial operations. So, will be in the long term. So maturity date it is the uh, difference between the short term and the long term. Examples for short term. Also for short term we can say or call this is current liabilities. So examples for current liabilities. Overdraft. Bank overdraft. 
bound by a rail. It spins by a rail on air driven your. So, example for the current liabilities, we can say account viable, notes viable, on air driven new, dividends viable, expense viable. So, this is the examples about current viable. So, what's the means on air driven new? Unearned revenue. What's the means unearned revenue? What is the sort of seal? Unearned revenue. Unearned revenue means you receive cash from your customers, but still you didn't what? You didn't provide him service or delivery. So receive cash from me, but still you didn't receive the service. Okay, this is means unearned revenue. So it is will be for me liabilities, but for you, what you call it? expense. In your company, you are right. This is a prepared expense, but in my record, I will put it as a unearned revenue. Means liabilities in my side, for side will be assets. Okay, so unearned revenue means receive cash, but still you didn't what claim. But you still you didn't receive. The surface. So this is examples for uh, liabilities. Uh, Long-term liabilities. We say the maturity date will be greater than more than one year, more than operation cycle. So for long-term long-term liabilities, we have two examples. Not payable. Long term, we have bonds and notes payable. Notes payable sometimes will be in the current and sometimes will be in the long, depend the maturity date. And bonds, it's examples for long term, long term <coughs> debit. Also, for last items in account equation, equity. So, we divided equity to four parts. Equity, capital, yeah. and revenue, expense, last, withdraw, or dividends. Four. Capital revenue will be what? Increase or decrease equity. So capital plus revenue increase equity. For withdraw and expense will be decrease the, the equity. Okay? We will decrease the equity. After that, after you know examples about liabilities and equity and assets we need to go to prepare account equation account equation it is as a t account this is the t account we will divide it two part two sides left and right Left and right sides. Left sides will be assets. Right sides will be liability plus equity. For each transactions, we have two accounts. 
transactions you have debit side and credit side okay so at least you have two sometimes in the credit size will be two three four five accounts debit two three four five accounts but at least in transaction you have financial transaction you have two accounts one debit one credit so when you would go to work in account equation for you have two accounts if one was in assets and one was in right sides in liabilities or equity so the signal will be same for example if you say here in increase so on right sides you need to put it in increase if the accounts was in one side means one will be in, in uh, increase and one will be decrease clear so if you write here decrease and second account was in the right size so you will write any decrease so when the accounts was in two sides means the signal will be different or same same increase means increase minus minus but when the transaction was in one side means one will be increase and one will be decrease so now we will go through the examples after this is the assets what's the means assets uh, liabilities what's the means liabilities liabilities claims for who for owner for creditors so the liabilities it is claims for creditors equity claims for for owner so liabilities it is claims for creditors El owners or el equity it's claims for owner this is examples for assets liabilities owner equity this is the equation this is the the simple equation basic equation assets will be e equal liability plus equity and equity you can divide it to four parts okay from the equity we can prepare how many statements from equity side income statement plus a change for owner equity So now we will go through the example. The first transaction was invested $20,000 cash to start a new business. So you need to analyze for each transaction. So here we said you need, uh, in each transaction you must have at least two accounts one debit one credit so from this equation uh, transactions we have investment and we have cash so we have account investment we can say investment we can say capital so we have capital also we have cash we have capital and we have cash.
So for our transaction, we have two accounts. We need two analysis for each transaction. Okay. So we have capital. We have what? Cash. So. This is this is a new company. Okay? So when you start your capital increase or not, increase. So your capital increase. And your your assets cash here was a cash? No. When you start you put it cash. So this is cash. So when you put it cash in your investment means increase. So, we said before, cash is assets, okay? So, assets will increase in your company means what? You will put it plus or minus? Plus, plus. This is assets, okay? Here, an increase or decrease? An increase. So, when you... Put it assets in increase means debit. So when you go to prepare journal entry, each assets in increase means you will put it in debit side. So here in increase assets means you will you will put it as a add, not debit now. When you go to prepare journal entry, you will put it at debit. Means assets with single plus debit assets with single minus means in journal entry will be credit okay assets when increase assets means plus a plus for assets means in journal entry will be debit assets with with single minus in journal entry will be so here what we will do we go to prepare journal not journal entry account equation okay account equation here the title will be assets here the title will be liability plus equity so the first transaction we analyze two accounts cash capital so you said cash will be under which under will assets so here you will write cash and capital will be under what capital will be under equal so here you will write capital clear so cash increase or decrease increase the amount so you write 20 20 without signal means add but when you decrease you need to min mention minus so you can write 20,000 add with, uh, with single plus or you can without it so cash increase capital also increase 20,000 okay clear so now after complete this transaction you need to put it live second transaction you need to work under the the line clear so now you have balance in both side or no in assets 20 what right side capital come 20 so you have balance after that you will put line second transaction you need to work under the line second transactions he purchases supplies thousand cash so at first what you will go to you need to go for Analysis transaction. Here, how many account you have? Two account. First, what? 
cash. Where is the bank? Where is the capital? For this, for this What cash? So this is the analyzer. You have account supplies. And cash. So you have two account. Supplies. What cash? Now all this account which under which type under assets means you will go to work in two sides or for one side one side one side because supplies assets cash assets so when you work in one side signal will be same or different because now This is supplies. Now you have in your company supplies. No, you purchase supplies. So increase. So assets increase means signal what? Plus. Your cash. Now you will go to pay. So your cash what? Decrease. So minus. We need to go now to work in one side. You need to go to work in one side, one items increase and one items decrease. So cash will be minus thousand. You need to mention to a new no same line. For example, we have at first at first we have ca cash okay cash was 20 capital was 20 second transactions second transactions cash and supplies supplies now you will work under the line supplies increase thousand what cash decrease thousand okay clear so now if you will go to find the balance cash balance come 19,000 hair supplies 1,000 right size 20 so you have balance you have balance so for each transaction you must have balance I see it واضحة إليك. لا مش ميزان. هذا نسميه الأكاونت كويجن معادلة الميزانية أو الأكاونت المعادلة المحاسبية أو نسميه البالانس كويجن معادلة الميزانية. إذا if you understand what's the treatment for account equation, you can prepare easy journal entry so now we will go to a new transaction a new transaction purchases comment 15,000 cash sometimes he will say 15,000 on account or you can say 10,000 on account 5,000 cash so in this case you have three accounts clear so now purchases equipment 15,000 cash you need to go to, to to what analysis so how many account you have Comment, what, cash. Comment, what, cash. 
So, our equation was cash at first 20 second was capital one second transaction supplies thousand cash minus 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 thousand okay well new transactions a new transaction now purchases comment cash so comment will be what comment comment now here you have in your in your company you have how many items in assets two cash supplies okay now you purchase new assets so you purchase this is comment now you don't have comment so when you purchase comment means the comment will be what increase so we will put it here item comment okay jump under the line 15,000 increase cash 15,000 decrease 15,000 minus 15,000 clear after that you will also put it down Right. If you want to go to check the balance, there is balance or no? 20 minus 1000 minus 15 means you have cash for 1000. Supplies 1000, what comment 15. So total amount 20. And right side you have 20. So you have balance. Clear? Okay. Now also we will go to a new transaction. Purchases what? Supplies and equipment. Okay. Not cash. He he said. Mumtaz, we have three accounts. We have supplies. We have equipment. We have account when he said purchases. On account means account. Clear? So, supplies, equipment is assets. Increase or decrease? Increase. So we need to add supplies. We need to add comment and account payable liabilities. Increase or decrease? Increase or decrease? Increase. Because at first you don't have any liabilities. Now purchases with liabilities. So liabilities will be increase.
So here, what we will go to work, we need to add supplies, supplies can 200, and equipment add further, and we need to make it work in new items for the supplies. So here, supplyability account, supplies work here, this is equal to supplyability, and this is what? So here, under the liability, we need to mention item account payable. So account payable will be 1,000, 200. So on the right side, we have 1,200. Left side also, 1,000 plus 200. So you have 1,200. Still you have balance. We have cash, okay, supplies, equipment, okay, spending twenty thousand. Second, have twenty thousand. Second, transactions. Purchases, supplies, can come in the one thousand. So one thousand minus one thousand plus sales transaction purchase woman fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand minus fifteen thousand minus. Now purchases also new items, supplies and new items. So, purchase supplies 200 on, on account. And purchase equipment 20,000. So, you will pay cash. So, you need to mention this is on your liability. Here, liability, you have to mention account liability. Okay, so account liability now in 3,000 is. اوكي هسه واضح الصوت يا اسيل واضحه شباب هاي الترانزاكشن شو في عندي He get what? He has now law from bank. Okay, law from bank means liabilities will be increase or decrease. So you have a new items for liability. When he said loan, you mention not payable. Okay. On account, you need to mention account payable. Okay, loans from bank, you need to write notes payable. And P. Okay, purchases on account without he when he say purchases assets, for example, purchases car on account means account payable. But when he sign. Sign means what? Not payable. When he mentioned or when he write sign, sign means this is not payable. But if he said just on account, on account means account payable. So here he got what? Loans from bank. So his liability in increase or decrease? Increase. So you need to put it in your item in liabilities you need to mention you have a new item not payable and your cash i see your cash increase when you receive loan so 
new cash will be what? Increase. Amount for thousand. So you need to put it no items here. New items. Your cash will be now increase four thousand. Increase cash and you need to mention here new items not payable. Okay, not payable, not payable will be increase or decrease. So as assets received if the transaction one part involved one bank in and left means the signal will be same. So when you write here what Next transaction. Here, Salman, what he said, provided consulting service. So you provide service also after provided the service you received 3000 so you need to analyze this transactions how many account you have cash and revenue so cash will be under assets revenue equity so here you need to Here you need to write cash will be increased from 3000 and you need to open one for four and this is the equity. In equity you say you will have what? Four products. Okay? One for capital, one for business revenue, one for expense, and one for Depends the transactions, okay? But you will have now capital, you need to open for revenue, revenue will be increased, increased, three thousand. Clear? <coughs> this is the This is the account equation after you add what? Revenue. So here, after you add revenue, this is the capital was capital. Now we add column for equity, revenue. Revenue, 3,000 and cash increase, 3,000. So for balance for cash, you didn't need to prepare balance for cash after each transaction just at end you can find the balance clear this transactions he paid what salaries this is expense or revenue expense so expense will be now under which type? Equity. So now for equity you have how many columns? Now, now three. Now we have three. Capital, revenue, expense. For expense what we said will decrease or increase equity decrease so we need to mention minus 800 in capital and minus 800 where cash so we need to mention cash will be this is cash will be minus 800 
also for equity expense minus eight hundred. So expense plus withdraw they will take mention minus revenue capital with plus. So here for equity now we have for equity three columns. An expense, the expense will withdraw mention minus. Move the minus. The minus means debit. When you go to prepare entries, minus for expense, for withdraw, for assets means you will put it in the debit side. Uh, plus four assets means posted in debit side. Okay, liabilities, equity, revenue. A plus means credit side. Minus means debit side. Okay. Just the account equation. It is the first step to prepare journal entry. If it is clear for you, so journal entry will be easy to prepare. Yeah. هاي ممكن ما تكون مطلوبة منك أصلا في الاختبار ممكن يجيب لك الأكاونت كويجن كاملة. So the account equation maybe eighty percent maybe he will not put it in the mid term. But if you if it's clear for you, so you can prepare entry. So he will give you. Transactions, same transactions, but he will requirement his requirement a prepared journal and not a prepared account equation. He will not ask you about account equation. Okay, he will ask you about journal entry. So account equation, it's the first treatment to prepare to understand what's the journal entry. واضحة شباب؟ After complete the account equation, you can prepare easy, simple balance sheet, simple income statement. Simple owner equity. So now for service company, Omar, for service company, if we ask you prepare income statement, income statement in service company means you need to find total amount, Adil, what? Total amount for revenue minus the total amount for expense when the total amount Omar greater than total amount assets the result what will be a total amount for revenue greater than more than total amount for expense profit amount for expense more than revenue loss okay so for service company Income statement, you need to find total amount for revenue minus total amount for expense. You can write revenue with details. For example, if you have uh, service revenue, if you have consulting revenue, if you have rent revenue, you can write these details or you can just mention the total. Okay. For expense, also, you need to, if you can, if you want, to mention salary is expense, utilities expense, rent expense, uh, 
ceiling expense what expense you can mention or you can just find that total so income statement in service companies total revenue minus a total expense so in our case now you can prepare the income statement or no so for our example now income statement will be just total revenue minus the total expense so if we ask you prepare income statement for this case just you can write income statement okay revenue or total amount for revenue minus a total amount for expense you can go through the details or you can just mention the total total revenue 3000 minus 800 so the the net income net income will be 2200 this is the profit 2200 this is the profit after that you can prepare the change owner equity now for new standards in accounting IFRs, the income statement it is merger with the owner equity so the owner equity now it's include with the income statement but now we will prepare separate for owner equity it change for the owner equity and sometimes they said return earning statement return earning statement or owner equity the form for return earning statement or a change in owner equity you will start from what capital so capital at first period a plus or minus net income minus a withdraw you will get what capital at end of period clear so for our example yes capital 20,000 net income when the net income was profit, so you he will get plus net income was loss means the expense greater than ex, uh, revenue so you mention minus there it's 2200 minus the withdraw coming withdraw 500 show withdraw لا المسحوبات الشخصيه الديفيدندز ممكن بعض الويذدرو عندنا كم 500 الويذدرو 500 سو هير ماينس الويذدرو 500 سو كابيتال ات اند اوف بيريد ويل بي كم بيطلع 21700 this is the change on our equity so last you will go to prepare what the balance sheet so the balance sheet will be just this is the balance sheet this is the this is the balance sheet so you will balance sheet you will go to write assets this is the p account for balance sheet here assets and right size 
you need to divide it two parts liability equity here assets so just you will go to the left side this is the left side this is the left side just take it copy paste okay so cash total amount for cash balance nine thousand seven hundred supplies one thousand two hundred equipment sixteen hundred okay So this is the balance sheet, balance sheet, okay? Assets, we have cash, cash 9,700, okay? Supplies, chem supplies, 1,200, equipment, 16, so total amount for assets come 900 900 after that you need to go to right sides you have liabilities you have account payable notes payable with equity details or just from owner equity, you will just take the capital at end of period. So, the notes payable come with account payable. The account payable, 1,200. The notes payable, 4,000. Okay, 1,200, 4,000, and capital at end, capital at end come. Lua 20 plus 2,200 minus 500. Come tala? 21,700. So, total amount for liabilities plus equity must be 20,600, 20, Must be equal. Asil ma'ana walla ruhti. Journal entry. So before before midterm, we will go through the revision. Okay, we will go through the revision. For uh, we will have samples for midterm. From the revision, it will be clear for you. Okay. So this is the first step to prepare journal entry. You need to understand. You need to be clear for you. Account equation after preparing the account equation, we will go to prepare journal entries. After prepare journal entries, we need to go to prepare what posting to ledger, prepare uh, trial balance. After trial balance, we need to prepare statements. So, this is the first step to prepare journal entry. If it's clear for you, journal entry will be clear.
now we have we have exercise here you get what basic account equation assets a seal now the first company company number one assets 30,000 liabilities noun or unknown unknown equity 20 so he asked you about the amount of liabilities a seal what's the amount of liability Twenty. Why twenty? I see. We said account equation. Assets. Account equation. Assets. Equal liability. Plus. Equity. Assets. 30,000 liability and now equity 20,000 will be equal assets minus equity so 30 minus 20 so will be 10,000 clear uh, Asil? Second company, Adil. What he ask? Assets. So you get what? Liability plus equity. So total assets must be total amount for liability plus equity. So assets will be eighty thousand. Salman, the shirley telephone. Where are the exercises of Salman? Yeah, Salman. He asked you about equity. Assets come to say it. Okay, liability plus equity must be equal 90. So, liability come 10. So, what's the amount for equity? 80. Clear? Clear? So, هاي في عنا كمان exercise نفس الإيش الفكرة. هنا في عنا اكزامبل على الاكونت اكويجن اكزامبل يا اسيل على الاكونت اكويجن فيرست فيرست ترانزاكشنز وات هي سيد انفست 15000 كاش انفست 15000 كاش سو هاو ماني اكونتس يو هاف تو كاش اند Capital. So cash will increase by 15. Capital increase by. So we will write here 15 for cash. 15 for cash and 15 for capital 15. And signal will be plus 15 plus 15. Clear? For, for plus you without. You can. Okay, but for practice or minus. So this is the first transaction. Second transactions. Second transactions purchases equipment cash. The equipment was seven thousand cash. A seal.
analysis. How many account you have? You have cash and equipment. Okay. Okay. For cash, decrease or increase? For cash, decrease. So cash decrease 7,000 and equipment will be increase 7,000. So here, as you see, cash minus supplies B124. Allah Afiq. Equipment increase. Adil. Analysis. Purchases what? He said here, purchases on account. So, assets increase, also increase liabilities. So, supplies increase, while account viable increase. So, this transactions for one side or two sides, two sides means signal will be same. Here receives one thousand two hundred. Receive one Increase okay when I say to you after three, four, five days, you pay liabilities, you pay for liabilities, means liabilities will be decrease, cash decrease. Okay, uh, when sorry, now receives bill two. 150 from daily news advertising uh, payment until later date. What's the means? Fee and expense, but it's still not paid. So this is will be in which side in right? Size because expense will be under the equity and not paid means you have a new items in account payable. So one minus one what plus. So your account payable will be liabilities will be increased and the expense mentioned minus. Okay, because expense will be decrease the equity, so you need to mention by minus. This one. Right. A number seven or eight. Seven. Now, the uh, expense for the expense. Now, how many expense you have? Three items expense. You can put it as well, or you can take the total amount. For example, now employees, rent, utilities. So you can you can find the total amount for expense. Come total amount to expense. Come. 
So you can just open one column in equity, 1,700, and your cash will be what? Decrease 1,700 because the expense decrease equity and must decrease in cash. So cash will be decrease 1,700 and expense will be decrease 1,700. Okay, you can just put, find the amount, total amount, and put it by the total amount. Clear? So, uh, transaction number 10, withdraw. Withdraw 1,300. So, withdraw, it will be under the equity. So, withdraw also we said it will be minus. So, minus 1,300 in the equity, and minus 1300 in the cash okay after that you can go to prepare what to find the total amount and you can prepare income statement owner equity balance sheet clear any question i see you عندك سؤال اوكي اسيلي ابعثي ايميل مشان اسوي الفورورد لل للتيشر العنود اوكي ما في إلا هاي أصلا في الرياض ما في إلا هاي المحاضرة Yes, you can see it. Okay. 